in this study, we were trying to investigate two broad research questions that are related. The first was, to what extent does weight appear to uh, limit the career opportunities of uh, executives at the highest level? So, uh, so we're talking about chief, uh, top executive officers of Fortune 1000 companies. And the second question related to that is, it does, as we expect, the effect of weight uh, have a greater negative impact on the careers of women than men? So the, our general findings were that um, being obese, which is a, a higher classification of weight than being merely overweight, but according to medical accepted standards, when one reaches the obesity level, um, there's very little likelihood that you are going to make it to the, to the highest levels of being executive. And in contrast, when you look at uh, executives and the extent to which top executives and the extent to which they are merely overweight, um, uh, overweight women are also greatly underrepresented. So uh, suggesting that overweight women are having, so these are women who have not risen to the level of obesity but are merely overweight, uh, are having difficulty or are being prevented or at least um, at a disadvantage in rising to higher levels. That is in sharp contrast to the finding for men where we found that the percent of overweight male CEOs was actually greater than the percent of overweight males in the general population adjusted for age. So in other words, uh, weight appears, being overweight, merely overweight we could say, appears to have a harmful effect or harmful consequences for women and it, it does not have harmful, harmful consequences for men and it may arguably even have some benefit.